All right, for number one, we're looking at Park A. Park A is 656 square miles total. That's our big piece. That's our big uh, amount, our starting amount. And we're cutting it into 32 smaller parts. And they want to know how, how much would be in each one of those parts and what would be the remainder. Uh, so we're going to start with our 656. That's our big piece. And we're cutting it into 32 smaller pieces. Uh, so we got to see how many times 32 goes into 656. Uh, 32 will not go into 6, but it will go into 65. Uh, if I count by 30s, it would be 30, 60. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be 2. So we're going to take 32 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6, which is 64, which is smaller than 65. So that will work. I'm going to put my 2 above the 5. 2 times 32 is 64, so I'm gonna subtract 64 from 65, and I'm left with one. And then I'm gonna bring down my six, which my new number is 16. Can I skip count by 32 into 16? The answer is no, but we have to put that no above the six. Uh, so our answer is 20, remainder 16. Now how we do this in a word problem is we have to label it. So each part is going to be 20. 20 what? Square miles. So we have to write 20 square miles. And then what is our remainder? Our remainder is 16. 16 what? Square miles. Uh, again, the reason why it's a remainder, well, we needed 32 square miles to make that next hole. We only had 16, so we didn't have enough to make another one. Okay, for number two, we're uh, splitting part B into 53 equal parts. Uh, you can't see it, but up at the top, it says part B, park B is 269 square miles. So that's going to be our big piece that we're starting with. And then we are splitting into 53s, uh, or 53 pieces, so that's going to be our uh, divisor. Uh, so I'm just going to ask myself, will 53 go into 2? Nope. 26? No, 53 is still larger, so we're going to have to use that full number. Uh, I'm going to just guesstimate by counting by 50s. So I got 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, that would be 5 times. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to take 53 times 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 1 is 26. So that's 265, which is smaller than 269, so that's good. So I'm going to put the 5 above the 9. 5 times 53 was 265. So I'm going to subtract. 9 minus 5 is 4, 0, 0. So on this one, I have five with a remainder of four. So each part is going to be five square miles. And our remainder is going to be four square miles. Last one, we're dealing with Park C. Again, up at the top. It says that Park C is 164 square miles. So I'm going to put my big piece is 164 square miles. And I'm split it into 16 equal parks, parts. So now I just have to do the division. Uh, will 16 go into 1? No, it won't. Will it go into 16? Well, yeah, that's pretty easy. It will go in at one time. Now make sure you put that 1 above the 6. So you always goes above the last number. Uh, 1 times 16 is 16. We subtract. We're left with 0. I bring down my 4. Uh, will 16 go into 4? The answer is no. You have to put that no up there, which is a 0. It will go 0 times. Uh, you can go 0 times 16, and you can subtract out the 0, or you can just skip that step and leave it at 4 because that is our remainder. So each part is going to be 10 square miles. And the remaining area is four square miles.
do a quick locker check. Hmm. Those look organized. Hmm.